what's going on y'all welcome back um let me go ahead and just say this now if you have subscribed to my channel um or just consistently watch my videos or even if you have watched one video i really sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart um for tuning in as you can tell hair is my thing like i really do love hair so um i really enjoy being able to share information with you guys so if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button you know it ain't gonna hurt you and it's so much more content that i want you to see so if you don't subscribe you know how are you gonna be able to see it so hit that button and let's jump right on in until today's video so my client today we have known each other since we were 14 years old um we met each other um in high school when we were both freshmen and she has pretty much stayed you know an active part of my life uh and i was like oh my god she's just such an awesome friend and she just stayed around she was always there helping me with my children and i have four babies two boys two girls so she has been there for each and every last one of them and she really is one of my really really good friends and i really love her to pieces and if she's watching this bianca i love you you are the greatest and you are just such a sweet person and i really do appreciate everything that you have done so i just wanted to shout that out before uh, i get into the hair portion So aside from Bianca being the wonderful person that she is, she also lets me do whatever the heck I want to do to her hair. And y'all, when I say whatever I want to do, I mean literally like whatever I want to do. Um, I'll just call her up and say, hey girl, I thought of this hairstyle for your hair. You want to do it? She'll pop up and then she'll go, hey, let's do it. She'll bring sandwiches, food. I mean, you name it. We be in there having a good time. And we normally kind of make it like an all-day event because, as you see, Bianca has a whole lot of hair. I mean, she got enough hair for me, you, and probably some of your friends. Like, the girl hair is just amazing. So, it normally takes me about seven to eight hours, literally, to do her hair because I normally go for, like, really big, drastic transformations. So, we just spend the day and... I'll color her hair, we'll cut it, we'll change her whole style, and then we'll grow it out and attack it again for the next time. So today the theme is mauve, and I was like, I got this epiphany about doing some kind of like rose gold, purple, mauve kind of hair, and I love rose gold. It's one of my favorite colors. So I was trying to figure out how can I incorporate that into a, a hairstyle. So Bianca's hair is really, really dark. So that's also what adds to the process as well, because in order for those colors to show, I have to lighten it. So um, today I'm going to take her from super dark hair. And also, as you can see, we had done her color last time and it has grown out quite a bit. So we're going to uh, change her base color and then also add some really pretty rose gold highlights. Now as for our placement, I'm going to do kind of like a sunburst or a starburst kind of placement. And instead of doing horizontal, horizontal, excuse me, or diagonal sections, which is normally um, my traditional way of coloring hair, I'm going to do vertical sections instead. And unlike horizontal and diagonal, vertical uh, sections give the most impact. So the difference between the three are horizontal um, placements. They, if you want to see a whole lot of color, but with minimal foils, um, horizontal would be the, the best placement for that. It's good for a whole lot of color to show, um, but it also doesn't give the most natural grow out. So that's the flip side to that. But you can still also blend it out really pretty. The diagonal placements, which is my favorite, it's best for the most organic blend because the grow out is so much softer and it doesn't, um, the contrast that, that it allows, it doesn't really, how can I say this so that you all can understand? I'm trying to figure out the best word. Basically, it's just really soft. 
it offers a very nice seamless grow out so most people opt for diagonals because the, the maintenance on this is, is very low and the vertical they offer so much impact and that's what I wanted to do um, I didn't want to do a whole bunch of highlights because with the rose gold I have to lift her hair pretty light and I didn't want to lift all of her hair really light so I said how can I incorporate impactful stunning um, pieces of rose gold but without having to color her whole head up uh, platinum blonde so I chose to do just a couple slices of the um, vertical placements and at the end you'll see how much impact that it's going to give So now applying her base color and the reason why I lightened it before applying the base color is because I needed it to be a little bit more intense. Um, it wouldn't show up honestly that great if I had just put it directly on her brown hair. You would have still been able to see it but it would have been a little bit deeper and I wanted something just a little bit lighter against this rose gold um, placement that I decided to do as well. So. To fill it in, I'm using Matrix 6VV, which is basically just a really deep, dark plum. That's all that it is. And for her highlights, I'm going to apply those foils once I'm done applying her base color all over. And I created this custom blend of like some gold and a little splash of pink. And I kind of sheared it out a little bit by adding some clear. So it kind of came up uh, iridescent. So um, I can't wait for y'all to see it at the end. I was in love with her hair and it's a process. You know, it, it does take time, but it's relaxing. It's therapeutic. So, you know, it's all fine and dandy. So before blow drying and flat ironing, I'm, of course, I'm using my heat protectant and leave-in detangler. And that's important to create a barrier between the hair and the heat so the cuticle layer isn't ripped apart. And it may look as though I am uh, just ripping her hair out. And I promise I'm not. I am literally just using the side of my brush and those short bristles. Uh, by allowing me to go on top of the hair, it's allowing me to gently detangle until the brush is um, can completely go through the hair um, easily. So that's the technique that I love to do because it makes it really painless for the client. Now since Bianca's hair is super thick, I'm going to use my flat iron um, on 450. And being that I did the heat protectant and everything like that, I don't have anything to worry about because her hair is already nice and sealed and hydrated. And I know the flat iron is not going to disrupt her curl pattern. However, Bianca also doesn't use heat often. So being that she spaces out how often she puts heat on her hair, which is really only when I do it, it gives me a little bit more um, it gives me more options when it comes down to these big drastic transformations I do on her because um, her hair is always so healthy and whatnot. And she know most of the time she wears her hair curly. So um, after we put heat on it this time, we probably won't do it again for another couple of months. So 
So due to Bianca's hair having so much weight to it and it being very thick, I'm using a slithering and a point cutting technique um, predominantly for this haircut because I really need to texturize her hair. And luckily she does have a lot of hair to begin with so that allows me to play with the haircut more and add a little bit more personality to it by texturizing it. And by texturizing, that just basically means just either removing weight or just adding like different lengths. That's all that is. And with texturizing, it, all can, it also can create volume as well. So if you really wanna add like a little bit more personality and flavor to the interior of the haircut, texturize it. And being that Bianca has a lot of hair, we can do a lot of texturizing. So it's gonna make the haircut look really, really fun and fresh and um, give it that wispy effect as well. So we are wrapping up Bianca's hair and y'all please don't kill me when I filmed this video um my memory card got full and I didn't have another one so I couldn't show the rest of the haircut um nor me styling it but basically all I did was bevel it I didn't do anything um drastic or anything like that I just beveled it just beveled it down but it came out so pretty. She kind of got this. I call this my designer haircut. Like this is my favorite haircut to do. It's something that I just made up. And it looked like a bob. But it kind of don't look like a bob at the same time. And I love the, uh, the, the, the convex layers that it has in it. You know it's kind of. It kind of it's kind of round at the top in the volume and then at the end it kind of just tapered off so I hope y'all enjoyed watching um, subscribe like I said if you have not go ahead and do so now and I will see y'all in my next video